To demonstrate how to create a rework looping scenario, I'll use this document review process that has a review document user task set up with two decisions. One decision is called reviewed and accepted with the intention of sending the workflow down a completion path and marking it accepted. The other decision is called rework required with the intention of having a document author revise the document, then submit it back for review. Getting more technical now, I have a decision step on the canvas with the reviewed and accepted path already built. Now I want to build out the path for the action called rework required. This will send the workflow back to the originator, assigning a user task to let that person know they have more work to do on the document before it can be accepted. I'm going to skip ahead to configure that user task step to speed up the video, but during that moment, I did drop an update document property step in line to set the status field of the document properties to rework required, just to provide some feedback from the workflow so others can see where it is in the review process without necessarily being in the workflow system. The next thing I want to do is assign the rework user task to the author. In this case, it will be the workflow originator. From the favorites section of the toolbox menu over here on the left, I'm going to drag down a user task and drop it on the canvas just after the set status rework step. Then I'll hover over the set status step and drag a line connector over to the user task. With that done, I'm going to add two actions to this user task on the instructions tab, one called resubmit for review, and the other called cancel review, just in case the author wants to cancel the submission altogether. I'm going to leave all the other settings for this user task set to their default settings for now, but I will actually change the name of the task down in the properties tab to rework document. Briefly note, the recipient settings can be set to the workflow originator and or a group of authors in your organization. It's all going to depend on your business requirements. Next, you can either drag a decision step over from the toolbox and hook the user task up to it, or hover over the user task in question, move the mouse to the side of the box you want the task to flow out of, click on the plus icon that appears, and drag it out of the box, drop it on the canvas, then notice the Add Decision option appears when you hover over the empty box. Click on that highlighted area to add it in, and notice it configures the path options for you based on what was configured in the user task earlier. Now, if the authors complete their revision, this is where we can loop the workflow back to the reviewers and resubmit for review. I will pull the resubmit for review path out of this decision step and drag it up to the set status pending review properties update step to essentially kick off the next iteration of the review. This will update the status accordingly and push the workflow back to the reviewers to check the revised document. So what I've done is I created a rework loop that allows authors of a document to submit to one or more people for review. Reviewers can send the document back with a list of needed revisions, and this looping process can continue indefinitely unless the reviewers approve the document or the author just cancels the review process completely. Upon saying the loop can go indefinitely, you will want to make sure you have a clear exit path for your workflow rework loops to avoid infinite looping. 